City Hall, room 604, run through the roll call. Ken Hutchison, I'm here. Vice Chair Alex Zacharias, not present currently. Alderman Randy Scammell. Present. present. Matt Buchanan. Here. And Tiffany <coughs> Bowles is also not present. Um, liaison representatives, Stacy Minks, Beth Lemke are both not present. Um, next part, approval of the agenda from September for September 26th. Today's Motion agenda. to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Great. Um, next is to approve the minutes from August 22nd. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Let's get right into it. First item is discussion with possible action on the annual grant program application from CP. So, we've all had, is there anybody from CP? Me. Okay, great. Uh, can I get a motion to open the floor? A motion to open the floor. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Very good. Okay, so uh, if you could step forward yeah. and, and uh, just, you can have a seat. Okay. Um, say your full name and your address, please. Wonderful, yes. My name is Callie Sherman. Um, I'm with CP. We are located at 2801 South Webster Avenue, Green Bay, uh, 54301. Great. Beautiful new place. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're so lucky. We're very uh, lucky. I, I toured it. Just Good. When you had your opening. Good. Um, can you, so we all have the application here. We've yeah. all had time to review oh, it. Um, can you please give us a nutshell version of what you guys are anticipating doing? Yeah. Um, with the sculptor, aligning the timeline and the location, please. Sure, yep. Do you guys want to just jump into the art piece or do you, okay, sounds good. So we are, just to give you a little bit of background um, with CP and if you want to pull up some of that presentation, I can show you. Um, CP has been a staple in our community for more than 60 years. We, for anybody that doesn't know, um, serve babies, children, and adults with a variety of different disabilities. So someone might come in with an actual cerebral palsy diagnosis, someone might come in on the autism spectrum, but what we do for them is we have four primary programs. We have an inclusive child care, uh, which is open to the public but serves kids with special needs. So one in four of our kiddos have some sort of special need, which creates an inclusive environment. We have a warm water aquatic center, we have our adult day service program, and we have pediatric and adult speech, physical, and occupational therapy. So um, if you want, we can kind of go out of order, Laura. Okay. Um, Just let me know what I need. Keep, keep going. These are just a, a small snapshot, because I want to be efficient with your time, of the people, the types of people, and the programs that we serve. Um, we, you know, a lot of our clients come from, actually the majority of our clients come from Green Bay proper within the city limits. Um, you know, Laura brought to my attention yesterday, and I know <coughs> that's going to come up. You know, technically CP as a physical location is not located within the Green Bay city limits. Um, you know, we very much feel like we're a part of Green Bay. Our mailing address is Green Bay. Like I said, the majority of our clients come from Green Bay proper. So if that was misunderstood on my part, that we had to be in the physical city limits, I apologize. But wanted to be here to share the project with you, with you guys anyway, in case it's of interest. So keep going and we'll get to the actual project. Some of my friends. There you go. We'll stop there. So um, this month really were, marks the end of a $7.5 million capital campaign that really in large part is the result of community support. Um, that $7.5 million turned into a 21,000 square foot addition uh, plus a total revamp of our current facility. So we got to the point in 2015 where we ran out of physical square footage to support the number of clients that wanted our services. So it was time for us to just expand so we could get more people in the door. And this is an image of our new space and it's been a journey. It's been you know, four or five years of fundraising. It's been four or five years of, of sharing our story with the community and really having people rally around us to make this a reality. So as of a week ago, we had a block party to celebrate really the grand opening of this space, which thank you, you were able to be there. Um, and at that block party, if you want to go ahead one more, Laura, we kicked off a collaborative project between CP and the NWTC Artisan Center. This on the left is a comp of what it, the sculpture is going to look like. It's going to stand roughly 12 to 14 feet tall. It's going to be made of the stainless steel sheets, and I'll pass these guys around for you. Don't hurt yourself, please. Um, 
And what was done at that block party, if you want to carry on, is we turned to the community that supported us for the entire duration of the campaign that has supported us for 65 years and we said you know we really want you guys to help make a physical permanent mark on cp to represent everything that you've done for us so at that community block party um everyone from babies to grandparents to uh you know people with normal developmental abilities to people with special needs had a role in making their mark on these long sheets of stainless steel so this is one example so it, it came in the form of either hammering it came in the form of some of our clients have wheelchairs they don't necessarily have the fine motor skills that we do so they can't hammer like this but it came in the form of them riding over these sheets with their wheelchair <laughs> to make a mark with their wheelchair it came in the form of this adaptive piece of equipment that our friends at the nwtc artisan center created where JJ, who is the cutest little nugget walking with a walker, was able to push this hammer, but then imprinted this mark into his piece of stainless steel. So what was done for the duration of this block party that ran four hours was really the kickstart of the bare bones pieces of this project. If you want to keep going, there's a couple other examples. Um, it was really an opportunity for us to say, to look and say, you know, based on CP, based on our history, based on our longevity, there are, uh, there are a few core people that really act as the foundation of all that we do. Those are our clients, so kiddos like this, and those are the community members that support us with time, talents, and treasures. So those people that keep us going for 65 years. Um, can I ask you, since we're kind of bouncing around, to go back a couple. There you go. Um, so those marks will make up the foundation of this piece which you know acts as you know this is CP this is what we're built on this is where we stand here we'll have um, arms now this is really representative of our logo it's it's not quite exactly our logo but it's a you know an abstract form of what that looks like these arms um, will move so they will actually spin in the wind um, and they will uh, house the names and some of the logos of the partners in the greater Green Bay area that continue to propel us forward in sponsorships in major gifts and you know that support and belief in our mission that we need from bigger organizations um, in a nutshell you know this is what it looks like so like I said phase one of this project is complete with that public kind of community phase mm -hmm. there's still more pounding on this that we'll have to do so whether it's with clients internally or whether we have another event um, it's kind of still to be determined. As far as timeline for completion for this, the actual sculpture needs to then go after we have all these pieces, needs to go into full fabrication at the NWTC Artisan Center with the goal of final installation of this piece mid to late November. Um, upon which we would have sort of another celebration of, you know, this is our community and you guys have helped make a mark on CP, whether it's in a one dollar donation or a million dollar donation or you volunteer your time or you've gifted your treasures or what have you. Mm -hmm. Does that help? Yes it does. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, now before we actually talk about the sculpture, the structure and the cost and everything, yeah. um, is it, are we able to fund this since it's not in the city limits? Like, I don't know if you funded anything that's been outside. We have not yet. What about the play? Wasn't that in Ashwabana? No, that was Southwest High School. Yeah. All right. You're right. You're right. Um, so it, that's something we definitely need to confirm. Yeah. Sure. Um, I mean, it services Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Definitely, people yeah. that are on Webster would be going to Green Bay. Well, I mean, all over the city, people go there. I've got a brother-in-law who lives yeah. <coughs> near Maine, and he goes to swim in the, mm -hmm. and he's got a mm -hmm. uh, ankle issue that he needs. That's yeah. true. However, you know, we don't invest city dollars in roads in Alloway or Shrekkan or yeah. Pier right. or any other infrastructure. I, I'm not sure how appropriate it is if we're investing city dollars in infrastructure in other communities. Although I think it's a wonderful organization and a great project. I just question. Yeah, I know. I, I, what I want to know is <coughs> what our ordinance says. I meant to look it up. Never got to it. Do we? Do we know if there's anything specific in the ordinance that prevents us? I'm not. I I'm don't think there's anything specific in the ordinance against it. 
I think it's more um, precedence. Yeah. Right. Precedence is a big issue. So, I don't know if this is something that I know it would be ideal if sure. the sculpture was located at your at your new facility. Yeah. Is that something that it could be located somewhere else within city limits? Um, I guess I don't know. That that's a good conversation to have because ultimately, what is the the purpose of the sculpture? Is it to um, you know garner awareness for the CP Center? Is it? Uh, I read your application. It was yeah. to uh, you know obviously the patients come and can see it. Um, they're they're getting beautification from it. Sure. Um, but I almost see this as if it was in Green Bay, it would definitely be a lot easier for us to make this right. decision. Sure. It would be a lot easier. And it would also be like a satellite kind of beacon for sure. some potential awareness efforts for yeah. the CP Center. I mean, I, you know, I am part of a bigger conversation that has spearheaded this project, so I can certainly take that back. I don't think it's completely off the table. You know, when we first started this project, the, the purpose was twofold. One was to have a physical um, representation of CP. The other was really the exercise of getting people involved, of getting people um, to celebrate the fact that you know we've just on, undergone roughly 18 months of construction that you know in a nutshell has has impacted our neighbors, it's impacted our clients, it's impacted their families, it's impacted our staff, and it's it really was you know along those two lines. One, yes, to have a beautiful piece to kind of complete and round out this project, but two, the actual act and exercise of, you know, this is really a community thing, I think was another piece. So I think with that said, you know, the biggest thing, we didn't we didn't think about having it at another location, primarily because, you know, this is the location that we have. So sure. if you guys were to say, you know, we have a really great location in this park that we think this makes a lot of sense, I think we're more than happy to explore a different home for it okay. and be able to talk through that. Um, and I'm wondering if at least uh, until we clarify that, some kind of letter of support, just uh, goodwill, you know, that's a... Well, I can, I can say um, we'd definitely be interested in continuing that conversation sure. and uh, maybe we should suggest, or we can put this, we could table this item until we figure that out so that if, it, if that is a possibility, <coughs> then we can really thoroughly vet the sculpture out. Yeah. And, and I'm also wondering, I don't know if this is something we should do or want to do, but like our fire department services Alloway is something we could do if, 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 if Alloway's Village Board made some kind of contribution to our Public Arts Committee, if we could then oversee public art for their community. I think they would have to, we'd have to have a pretty big, larger conversation about where our actual jurisdiction would lie, but that's a conversation maybe we should have down the road, I think, yeah. Because yeah. like, this is something that we haven't encountered yet that clearly I think would be of interest both mm -hmm. ways, so. And it might be a way of funding our, mm -hmm. getting more funding. We could we could certain yes. communities around us that probably never will have a, a committee like this no. so the okay. table is currently open oh. if you guys are interested so in these, participating these are um, folks from the NWTC Artisan Center oh. uh, if you guys want to introduce yourself we just kind of went through the background <laughs> of the I'm here. I'm oh, so you're right at the slide yeah. yeah we did so we just kind of Hi. went through <coughs> <coughs> Suzanne Ritter uh, manager of the Artisan and Business Center we apologize <coughs> Jason Keller is very very ill Okay. Um, and so we're pulled together real quickly to come on over and to okay. share this part of the Great. sculpture. So then can you also uh, state your address? 1417 Cedar Street. Hello, Matt. Hi, Kelly. Kelly. Kelly Bresnahan, Creative Project Coordinator at the Artisan <laughs> Center also. And we are on 1417 Cedar Street. Uh, your home address? Well, my home address is yeah, 5060 Bowers Road. Sorry, I didn't clarify. Oh. Okay. Um, 1310 South Evergreen Street, Shawano. Great. Okay, thank you. So just to give you guys an, a little bit of background, we jumped right in. I shared some information about CP in our background and actually shared a lot about this sculpture. The conversation that we're having now is because CP lies out of the jurisdiction of Greater Green Bay, you know, does it make sense for these of, guys? Of Green Bay. Of Green Bay, you are sorry. Green Greater Green Bay. Green Bay. Of Green Bay. Yeah. Does it make sense for these guys to either look at kind of their current 
structure and how they're funding projects or does it make sense for us to take it back to CP and our team and say is it possible for this sculpture to live somewhere else with inside greater Green Bay city limits which changes kind of our vision of the project a little bit but I said you know I'm a, I'm a part of a bigger conversation so it's certainly something that we can bring back to CP and the team and see what what is there so I guess and I'm also wondering oh, yeah. sorry Go ahead. Uh, if NWTC, the artists, that's in our district, yeah. could we fund them to do the, they're doing the work on it? Ultimately, that it's where the sculpture is going right. to be. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, um, so that's kind of the, where the conversation is now. Okay. So I think what we're going to suggest before we uh, go into depth about the sculpture, the uh, timeline, the costs, and all those types of things, I think we need to table this and then uh, reevaluate kind of what we can, what we have the Sorry. right to do. Yeah, I mean, I um, and then jurisdiction. A time. projected um, completion date of November or around there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it would still, I mean, it would still fit in the timeline if we do need to table it. Um, for one month. For one yes. month. Or we could always hold a special meeting um, sure. early October once we kind of get the logistics of it figured out. That's it. I think if you look at the clientele that CP Center, that, you know, serves, it's, it's Green Bay and it isn't just, uh, definitely. You know, so yeah. It's just a jurisdiction issue. Like, mm -hmm. it's gonna, not going to be in the city of Green Bay, I so, you know, yeah. that's, we're setting a precedent. Our, our ordinance may not, I mean, we were formed by ordinance, yep. yeah. and we may not. So, I, we're definitely oh, yeah. really interested in <laughs> this. Uh, the cause is great, the sculpture is great, so um, I guess if you guys are open to maybe potentially having this location, we were talking about having a, if the sculpture was actually off-site, you'd be helping advocate for the CP Center in a different and location. Yep, that's going to be your call. Yep, yep. yep. and I'm happy, to, I said so. I'm happy to bring that back, so. Okay. Sure. Yes. So then, um, uh, I, I would suggest that we reconvene in October. Sure and then um, kind of reevaluate like if that's a possibility for you guys then definitely we would be open to okay. thoroughly investigating this sure Does that sound I, okay? yep absolutely yeah. i will take that back to my team today and i will communicate with you if that's okay yeah okay. that works great Perfect. and would that fit into your timeline whoever is going to be fabricating this yeah, it, it, that, that's not a problem. If okay. you change the location yeah. that it's just that we have a base that we can monitor sure. is, uh, is cool you know, uh, yeah sure so, and as far as just to give you guys an idea of project scope and budget, this is something that CP is fully bought into and we believe in. So we're moving forward with it no matter what. If sure. we can put you guys as kind of a co-sponsor and put your name on it as well, we would love to do that. But Great. you know, this is something that we're passionate about and we're going forward with. So if it works, it works, and if it doesn't, Great. it's at least you guys are aware of a cool piece that. Yes, yeah, definitely. So yeah. We're, we're excited about okay. this piece. So. Okay, cool. I will leave you guys with two. You don't have to open this now. It's, CP is interesting. If you've never been, please come and visit us. Yeah. It's Once you step foot in the door, it's a totally different experience. Yeah, so this is a little something that... Buttering us up, huh? <laughs> puts you guys in the shoes of our clients Thank and you. kind of reminds you, you know, some things to be thankful for. I thought if we so. opened it up, it... Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if you agree to be part of it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very Thank much. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so Thank you. you. Thank you guys. Fantastic Coming in. project. Can I get a motion to close the floor? Motion to close the floor. A second. All in favor? It's uh, aye. 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 First letter. We should probably note the record. We have first letter of the last night. I think so. Oh. oh. Uh, for the record, I think so. Um, ladies on Beth Lemke has joined us. Hi, Beth. Hi. Hi, Beth. And member Alex Zacharias has also joined us. Hello. Hello. Um, so, sounds like uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to uh, table this item. Until well, do we but just want to hold it for a moment? Hold it. Hold it? So yeah. The table it kills it. Oh, really? Well, it, wow. it, it so tables really for a much good. longer period of time generally okay. usually have, so, or, so or, or, or it, it can go either way. But it, yeah, it's right. holding it for a moment. I, I moved to hold it. For until the October meeting? Until October, yes. Until October. Or we need or we have a special meeting if, if necessary. Okay. I think we should hold it until October. Yeah. And it can easily I'm assuming a couple of phone calls and it's clarified. Right? Sure. Yeah. Second. So we can uh, we can revisit this at our October agenda then. Uh, there's a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Very good.
So we hold held. Item number two, discussion with possible action on the annual grants application from UWGB Music Concert Series. Okay, is there somebody here? Yes. Great. So I'd like to entertain a motion to open the floor. Motion to open the floor. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Great. Can you introduce yourself and state your address, please? Sure, Have sure. Okay. My name is Michelle McQuaid Dewhurst. Um, I live at 441 South Van Buren Street in Green Bay, and I'm representing the UW Green Bay Music Program. Uh, we're at 2420 Nicolay Drive. <laughs> are those for us? They are for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so take Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. So right. So, um, oh. okay. Can you outline what we potentially would be funding and how it relates to public art? Sure. Um, so this concert series is in its sixth full season starting this year. And it was started with the goal of not only sharing music, but doing so in a way that helps an audience understand more about what makes it tick. Uh, the original name of the series was the 360 concert series, as in 360 degrees, and we called it music from every angle. And it was we the, the goal was here is the music, but here also are performers or composers or other special guests talking about what is you know, what is the context of this music, what is the historical significance, what is the social context, uh, those kinds of things. And so we do see this as an educational series as well as a professional series. Um, we have a goal of increasing outreach to communities as well, and we're, we'll, with a couple of the events from this season, we're starting to, to see more of that. Uh, for example, the Florentine Opera performance coming up in October. We have a partnership with uh, the Green Bay Public Schools, uh, specifically the Fine Arts Institute, where some student singers will come and perform for the singers who are coming in for the concert and receive feedback. Um, so that, that master class opportunity is something that, that we see a part of our mission as well, that there's, we're connecting music with the community in various ways, educationally and, and artistically. So that's the public art piece of this, is that we, by, by holding these concerts, by having an educational piece during the concerts, and by making most of them, except for one here this season, free, then we're increasing access to music throughout the community. Mm -hmm. um, the, have I covered your question? I think so. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what are our questions and concerns about this application? Uh, the definition of public is that is, is, would that be something? Uh, so, public art. Right. Yeah. So, so it's, it's free. Of concern of mine. Yep. It's free mm -hmm. except for December twelfth, um, and anyone in the community can attend for free. It's Absolutely accessible. If they have transportation to the White Center. Well, transportation anywhere, though. I mean, wherever you're going to have it. I mean, right. It's I true. Do, do public buses go to the White Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yep. There's a new line that started this express. fall. Express. A, a new express line. Okay. Um, Straight to. Um, how would you advertise and leverage uh, the public art component of this differently than you already have? Because if I read this, it, it doesn't really talk about public art on here um, but like how would you make it recognizable that um, this is free and this is mm -hmm. you know an expression of public art sure um, well, something that I hope we will be able to do as the series gets even more stable because it takes time to build right is that as we bring in artists that we can do performances in alternative venues that are not on the campus that we can go to a place like we we you know we're very friendly with Alex Gold at Kavarna and he loves to host music and so to, to do something there um, to do something um, and, and th there, there's some talk I'm not sure where we are with this but the Widener Center uh, our new director is talking with the folks on Broadway and, and seeing is there is there a thing we could do at some of the markets yeah. and those kinds of things and so that is that is a future goal it's not it's not a place where we're at right now uh, and it but it is something I'd like to see um, this is my second season doing the coordination for this this series right. um, and we're just now I think reaching critical mass where people know about the series and come to expect it um, and 
once we have that in place, then I think we can use that as a platform to launch okay. the kinds of initiatives that would make this more public right. and connect more directly to the city. Like on the, on the city deck or something like sure. that. You know, there's already concert series that go on there, but I don't think there's anything as, um, you know, classic music-wise mm -hmm. that, you know, this could, you know, fit a new niche there. Mm -hmm. I, would, I think that would be exciting too. Um, other thoughts? The request is for fifteen hundred dollars. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to um, consider this form of art because we don't really have a lot of music um, artists coming to us asking for funds. So that's definitely a, an area that I would like us to support more of. Um, there is some concern, I think, with the, the public access. Um, I think it's great that it's free. Um, anyone can attend. Um, we just want to make sure that that's out, being yeah. advertised to the whole community, that mm -hmm. this is for anyone to attend. This is, isn't just a, a campus thing that only students and faculty are part of. Um, and that's something we could help out with, too, say, with advertising on our Facebook page. on our end as far as um, public art opportunities that are coming up. Um, that's definitely something that we could push through our... Mm -hmm. venues. That would be fantastic. Um, I'd, I'd like to also mention that um, it was the last season, not this year, but the last year was the first year where uh, the marketing division at UW Green Bay started to push this series more and so we are trying to make things known it's it uh, we, we do run ads in the Green Bay Press Gazette now where we couldn't before we didn't have the budget for that uh, we do advertise on Wisconsin Public Radio now and and the, the fact that these are free events is blasted on both of these okay. these venues um, and you know we do have a, a decent social media presence uh, that I'm continuing to work to expand but in cooperation with your social media then we can amplify that even more I think I wonder if there's opportunities um, conjunction with like maybe some of our unveilings and, and things of that nature that it becomes a big party you know I mean we have when we have one thing going on and in conjunction with you know just a Collaboration, sure. 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 You like parties? Sure. So, um, <laughs> Randy? No. Uh, I, I like it. I, uh, I, I agree. We. This is the kind of thing we don't get very much of, and I, and uh, it's free, uh, except for the one day. Uh, and uh, I would like to see a stronger connection between the city and the university. And part of that is we want them more downtown, but. It can go both ways, you know. We could yeah. try and, uh, and and get people to the university. So uh, I like it. I'm in favor. Um, my only question: Do you have programs that you provide, or is there kind of a sponsorship banner? I guess how would the PAC be? Sure. Um, in every concert program, we do list anyone who's donated and wants their name listed. And so, obviously, if we would we would list the, your organization um, as part of that. Um, we would also we do a, a print poster for each event. We can put it on the poster. I can include it in the Facebook events uh, going forward. You know, there are a number of ways where we could we could bring that in. Okay. Yeah. That'd be really good because. Um, like we're still pretty new. And sure. Yeah. So if, if you're open to that, that's absolutely that's helpful. Beth, do you have any ideas? Any thoughts? No. I, I like I said, um, you know, we tried to partner last year with the uh, exhibit in combination, and we didn't. You know, the novel did an advertisement, so I think it's a really great series, mm -hmm. and uh, seeing more momentum and getting, you know, it is it is free again, with the exception, you know, going back to what we did with Southwest High School. Even so, that was a ticketed. <clears throat> event so this right. clearly is even stronger Strong. in my yeah. opinion application wise yeah, yeah. okay I, I I'm definitely going to be in favor of this uh, the issues that I have are the public access issues and the um, the intention of having this become something that maybe is more accessible to the downtown Green Bay -ish area or mm -hmm. just other places in Green Bay and it sounds like you're thinking about that so that's really good I'm happy to hear that um, now, the, the request is for $1,500, um, and we have a limited amount of money that we can allocate towards the annual grant program per third of the year. Right. So I think we need to evaluate if $1,500 is appropriate or if we want to pare that down. 
uh, and be a little bit more conservative with that because we're getting more and more applications and, um, and you know. No, we can make that decision later. Can we make that decision? We don't have to. Probably. No, I think we should do it now. Should the door is yeah. closed or? Um, yeah. Should we? I mean, yeah, okay. Is, is there anything else that you want to say, Michelle, about, about this before we close the floor? Sure, the sure. Um, just that, um, you know, we would appreciate any support. Um, right. What my goal has been as I'm trying to shore up future funding for the series is if I can demonstrate that there's interest in the series, it's it's kind of like you know, putting a dollar in the tip jar in the hopes that more people will right. put money <laughs> in the tip <laughs> jar. Yeah. You know? So uh, so we, we did receive uh, some support from doctors and recital as well. And so to be able to advertise that connection, I hope will will yield results. And to be able to advertise a, a connection with you, I, I hope would do the same. And so any support you'd be willing to give right. would be fantastic. So right. thank you. Thank you thank for you. coming. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Motion to close the floor. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We're good. Well, okay. How much do we have um, in our budget right now? Well, we have printed out it's a very, very tiny budget. <laughs> <laughs> Both in size and size. Yes, yes, yes. I um, <coughs> we have enough. Right now it's kind of the way that we have it set up. We're kind of going into our next phase. So like from October to February. So we do have funds available, but it's it's the very beginning of October. So if we, we we can we have the funds to do this, it just might be a little scant towards February. Right. So but uh, that's why I want to know how much how much do we have in there? As far what? as set aside for, yeah, for rent. Yeah, October to yeah. Uh, October right to now we have um, four thousand five hundred. Okay. Um, I would I would suggest we offer up one thousand dollars for this project. Um, that would obviously give them, you know, more than half of what they're asking for, uh, a decent amount, and uh, we would not be taking, uh, you know, more than a quarter away from from our budget the last two October or, or February rather. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a great effort. You know, if you, if you, you know, just as far as getting our name out there. Yeah. Uh, whole university <coughs> that I think that's a great opportunity okay. it's a good investment how does a thousand dollars seem rather than 1500 I yeah I, you see that's that's where I wouldn't know where I wasn't sure where to go with that either I mean I, I would love to do 1500 so but would I. yeah right 10,000 10, right exactly <laughs> so until we can get our budget really beefed up we got to be careful you got to be conservative you've got to be conservative yeah. so unfortunately I, 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 I agree with you I think a thousand is is a pretty good sum still. Okay. And so I move a thousand dollars for this project. Support for this project. Second. project. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Of course, we're happy to be a part of it. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Okay, moving right along. Maybe next year we can be a bigger part. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and number three is discussion with possible action on the okay. annual grants okay. program application by Robbie Hoffman. Robbie here. Okay. Do we need to open up the floor? Motion open the floor. Uh, no, we don't need to open up the floor oh. because it's not here. So, ah, um, this, so we all had time to review this application. Uh, what are our thoughts? So this is the art auction at the KI Center. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. To help people who have cancer. Obviously, the cause is great. Mm -hmm. I guess I have it. I'm a little confused as to how is this public art? Mm -hmm. That was, uh, yeah, so in the grading scale that we all went through, um, that was where it, it did lose some, some pretty strong numbers. Um, I like the idea that, that the cause is good. We just have to evaluate how strong of a public art component this is going to be playing and if it's worth you know, investing public art dollars into. Um, it's a $500 ask, right, if I remember right? Yep. yep. Yeah. $500. So it'll and be they're asking to offset, offset the rent for the KI for the day. Right. So um, the 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 idea is, is, is great. How is this a public art piece? Let's have that conversation. Is, is this public art? 
That was that was my question. I think it's public art. I mean, the I mean art if there's show, a performance, the I mean, art show, show aspect of it, it's in an open lobby. Mm -hmm. People can access it. Um, it is public art. I think the issue I had with the application is it's very vague. And also, I don't think it's an effective use of our dollars. You yeah. can, I mean, you could reach out to Kavarna or other coffee shops or other places to display artwork and have a, a poster up or something saying that all proceeds are going to be going towards this cause mm -hmm. uh, rather than using money to pay for rent for one day for something that maybe it's going to maybe it's going to get the proceeds that you were looking for but maybe it's not right um, also i was slightly concerned that uh, he had attempted this previously and failed to get funding for it i don't know who he reached out to but he did list that in his application the the application in general is quite vague um, it says he's it's raising money for cancer victims so we don't know what type of you know foundation that's going towards or um, institution so you know I think it does have a public art component if it is a gallery that you don't have to pay to get into I mean it's in a it's in a it's in a building but still um, it's free entry so I can see see that but I would like to see this flushed out a little bit more if we're gonna pay $500 toward it but you raise a good point I mean you can do that with with existing places that you don't have to pay $500 to um, for entry fee or to get the rent um, so so I move not to fund this I'll second that all in favor all right. aye. aye aye opposed okay so uh, item number four is discussion of possible action on Casey Early Krieger's rotating arts program application so uh, is seat proof here C so uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to open the floor. Motion to open the floor. Second. All in favor? All right. right. Opposed? Very good. Casey, could you please step forward and say your name and address? My name is Casey Early Kruger. I live at 1138 Grignon Street. Three. Okay. And we all can do Does everyone have access to the application here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So, um, give us the nutshell, Casey. The nutshell um, is the introduction of this rotating arts program has been super inspiring and the concept for this piece has gone through several innovations um, until it came to something that felt feasible but also you know I, I don't tend to make work that does not create a sense of resonance and passion in myself and if it's affecting me that way there's a greater probability that it has a similar quality on other observers and key to this piece are other participants it's a participatory piece um, and I, I studied music at UWGB before I started art and uh, music has always been a part of my life and uh, even just studying sound and thinking of the way this world works in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration, I find really, really important concepts. And I, this piece just felt like it, it fell together. Mm -hmm. um, it, as I started developing it, it and it reached this, this phase, it just felt like it was meant to be. It was starting to hit on all these points that I have that been um, developing. Great. Well, um, so um, you, you, we've seen his history. He's obviously has a history in fabricating, um, and this is the piece that we're looking at right now, as having potentially on one of the rotating art program uh, platforms. So, thanks for the introduction. So, so can you explain the uh, sculpture? Yes. So this is uh, most all my work is generally made out of reclaimed material, found objects. Um, so. We're looking at something about six feet tall. Um, these are vibratory lines. Um, this is a steel shell, half of a hemisphere. Um, it came from a cutoff of an end of a propane tank that you'd see in someone's yard. 
and it rings amazingly. <laughs> um, a lot of my other work specializes in being kinetic in nature, so it's not fixed and stationary. So, um, moving down to the base here. This is a fully steel wagon wheel with a fixed hub and a one, in, one inch, maybe one and an eighth steel shaft that comes up through the center. Um, so, this shell has another pipe that's welded under the bottom that is a sleeve on the top of it. So, this whole shell um, balances on that one point. Any bell that you ring, the, the uh, more greater reduced amount of surface contact, the greater amount of vibration you, you get out of that uh, material. So, we've minimized that. The whole thing can rotate on that and has some side-to-side -side movement because for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. If you strike the side of it, it's going to make it want to swing, but it has a limited range of movement. Um, so, also mounted to this central shaft is a 8-inch diameter quarter-inch wall steel pipe where I cut the slit down the side of it. And this is a geometric form that like a, a wind chime or uh, even eastern types of, of bells. It's just another type of bell form that produces another ring. And being fixed to the supporting shaft by just a couple of tabs that weld to the inside, underneath it can be struck. Uh, so attached to the base here are other types of striking instruments because you can create different sounds out of the same material by using different devices to create a different tonal quality. And I have already reached out to our new professor of percussion at UWGB um, since that's primarily where I will be completing phases of production of this. Um, he's going to come in and bring in different types of striking instruments and so I can sample on these materials what types of tools make the most pleasing and uh, diverse sorts of sounds. Um, so the other thing about this form is it is a resonant chamber. So if you strike this piece down here, even that we're about six feet, the top of that shell would be just above navel height. The bottom <coughs> would be about 20 inches off the ground. So the sound seems to come out from underneath and come, come wash up you. Okay. So two different types of sound there, different types of fixed implements. So they're essentially chained and weld, welded to the base, and there are tabs around the bottom uh, where that can be bolted to the pad. So it is uh, stationary and stable, not going anywhere, and the implements can't walk off either because they're, they're tethered to the piece. But there's enough reach to be able to reach all the way up to the top. I'm not fixed on what sort of thing would be on the top of this, but Every aspect of this is something that can be played and made a different sound. Uh, these discs, I already have, they are the cutoffs from the top of other propane cylinders. And again, they, they ring. And so I was going to cut down their circumference, because as you reduce that, you increase the pitch. The other interesting thing about this form, these concentric circles and discs, is how it resembles um, a Buddhist stupa. This is a, a temple building, and given that I mentioned how I see how everything is connected through energy, frequency, and vibration, and it is a core makeup of who we are, that is, there's an aspect of worship and honoring to that. So it, it's the sacred art of sound and how we commingle with each other and co create. Um, even our ideas and intentions are reflections and projections of our own vibrational quality that is a collection of our experience that we have developed. So we're all making music here and wherever we go through throughout our day. I want to touch on the next level of what this is because as a publicly installed piece, anybody can walk up and play it. Um, it is something that I want to document. I want to stage performance. Um, Bill, our new percussion professor, once this is installed somewhere, I want to set up a recording, uh, the video and audio, and basically record a spontaneous performance of five minutes. And I want to repeat that. I'm going to do one myself. Um, and I've reached out to other percussionists that are interested in that. 
and ultimately create a public art video that goes out uh, sharing these performances, um, but it can even just be created in an event around it. Uh, I mentioned in the description that there would be inscriptions, put on quotes, that are, would help to convey in a more concise fashion all these concepts that I'm trying to convey to you right now. And I'm looking at how those can be etched into the surface, probably around the circumference of the bell, perhaps around the circumference of the wheel. And actually, I didn't mention this, but to me, the presence of the wheel is an important thing. I mean, it's it just and all the round structures, because we have the cycle of life and everything. The, the, there are many metaphors for the wheel itself as it ties into this so whole concept. So the quotes would be like dremeled in or something like that with head by hand? or. That's a definite go-to, but what I'm, I'm researching is being able to stencil the, the quotes so it can go around the edge, and then maybe actually the most approachable thing is probably to have them sandblasted into the surface so that it's, it's stenciled so I'm not sitting there you know, inscribing and carving in each character of, of each quote. So then that would, that's all mild steel, so after it's sandblasted, it looks all shiny and nice, and how would you protect it from rusting like the rest of it? I would, I would clear coat it, um, but, so actually Loctite makes this other aging compound that, it, it protects from rust, but it will also take rust and turn it black, and then seal it. That would be another option. Okay. The quotes are really something that I feel completely secondary to the nature of right. the piece. Okay. It's not essential, but I, some samples of what I'm looking at um, would be um, simply stating how the play of pattern and frequencies against the nature of the matrix of time. It's just an abstract way of talking about music itself, uh, because there's, yeah. there's time that forms the structure of, of music, but this is more than talking about what about music. Sure. music. Okay. Um, I think, um, does that mean? I, I think this is cool. It reminds me of, uh, I was just in New York for the um, um, Burning Man art exhibit, and it has that flavor. Mm -hmm. um, but what, what made it really awesome was that as far there was when you walk into a room, you, the, the audio was was there. I'm just wondering the audio out in the public, as opposed to you know what I mean, to sure. a, a, a space. If that would be conducive, you know what I mean. I'm just trying to. I don't think it's necessary. I I love the idea. I would definitely be open to it if the Rotating Arts Program has a indoor pad <laughs> to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I've tested these materials. They're I, I do sound experiments. I mm -hmm. can't walk up to a material without seeing what kind of right. quality it has. And so I've been outdoors. And Are you when you stand, well, no, I, I mean, I'm I, 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 I be too loud. No, 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 oh. no, not, not even oh. that. I just, uh, I think, uh, I think it's a cool project, and it should be like. Because I, I, I think it should be shrined, really you know installed. What I, mean? I mean, it's so yeah. cool, you know. What I mean, I think I, w I would want to see it in the public. You know? I yeah. want to see it outdoors. Yeah. yeah. Preferably, like where there is foot traffic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want people to walk by and yeah. and play with it. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that's a fair question, though, regarding what you're hinting at. Yeah, because at three o'clock in the morning. That's what I'm worried about. There's the well, otherwise, I, I love I this. It sounds it sounds great to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I just don't want it ringing at three o'clock in the morning and people uh, and getting out their pitchforks and torches and, and attacking it. Right. So, um, it, to be very so it does. It does it have to make sound? Does it have to be struck? Yeah. Like in wind. Nope. Okay. Celestine, do you have something? Yeah, just not all the pads are located in your house. I was going to say ah, we have yeah. our one pad that's over by the wildlife. Sanctuary. Right, but if it's making sound, sound carries. It doesn't. I've got people who complain way over on Elmore Street about stuff going on at City Deck. Oh, acoustically, oh yeah, acoustically, you never know yeah. how things are going to work out. So <laughs> I want to comment. It doesn't have to be close. Okay, go ahead. Because so at one one of these very things that bothers the heck out of me. I 
very much enjoyed visiting the Cornell Botanical Gardens in Ithaca, New York. And they installed a, a giant bell up on the hill on the far end of this thing. And it's probably a mile away. But it, and their bell was a propane cylinder hung from a chain, and they attached a framing hammer to it via chain. And so people would come up, and they would hit it. And from the other end of the park, you could just, it was piercing. And that's where the choice of striking implement to the material makes such a difference. Like, they needed a wooden mallet. And furthermore, it, it needed a slit down the side to create a, a pure resonant tone. So um, these materials, they, they, they are not sharp um, in, in tonal quality. What are the materials that you'd be hitting it with? It's undecided yet, okay. but I'm just wanting to convey that I'm very sensitive to that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I don't want to use anything that I feel sharp or uh, abrasive. Mm -hmm. um, and the tones that come off of these materials that I've tested have more the ringing of a like a meditation bell. It feels mm -hmm. soft and even and has a sustained ring. So you have the ability to play different parts and then you get this layering of harmonics over one another and it feels beautiful. Right. From what you described, it sounded, you know, I got the feeling that the sound was going to be, the quality is going to be incredible. It was going to be the way you described Pay it. That's a good though. We don't want a, yeah. a framing hammer out there. Right. No. So right. But, 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 but my only concern is, I'm not worried about someone coming along and striking it at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's on that person. I mean, if somebody comes along with an air horn, mm -hmm. I'm not blaming the air horn. Right. Right? So the only thing I'm concerned about is like wind and rain, something like that, at 3 o'clock in the morning. If, if, if it can it make sound? It, yeah. Oh, okay. so no. So that would be awesome, but I don't think it would. Right. Yeah. Which is great. <laughs> no, no, it would not be awesome okay. because at 3 o'clock in the morning, if but it's making sound because of yeah. wind and rain, we can't control that. There, is, nice there is a chance that something like that could be created. I, I would love to create the opportunity, and maybe at one of my performances, if I brought some compressed air, you would need some seriously strong winds. Yeah. But this bevel underneath here, if it hit that right, there could be an inner sound that started to create, and then this acts as an amplification, yeah. but it would become this very soft, gentle ring. It would be Yeah, but you know, at 3 o'clock in the morning, yeah, I'm not going to hear that if it if went somebody 30 feet away. In case, you know, yeah. uh, would you say, I mean, with typical, even with like high winds and rain, this it's thing would be cool. making large sounds? Or Actually, I would say rain and hail, you know, you will hear, you're, there are no large sounds. Yeah. No large sounds. Yeah. Okay, that, but I just, think that's to sit close to it in a rainstorm. Oh my god, I have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> I need to experience that. Yeah. It would be equivalent to like a shed or something sure. else that yeah, that's right. it's still way be. more attractive than the sound of rain hitting a shed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 but it's similar to the yeah. Uh, okay, um, that that's my only yeah, concern. I mean, Otherwise, so really, really, really like this. Like like I am a sculpture that makes noise. Uh, this sketch or um, makes music. Having or something like this out there. This is. Um, a type of wire brush, so metal bristles that are probably 10 to 12 inches long, and they kind of fan. Um, but even in, in jazz, I love the sound of brushes on cymbals, mm -hmm. and, and like this just then leaves this soft ringing. And so you, it doesn't have enough mass to create a real substantial tone. Right. It's more about creating an intimate experience with the individual and the piece. So um, I like this piece on a number of accounts. It's an aesthetically pleasing sculpture, but also we're we're touching on another component of public art, which is music. So mm -hmm. yeah. I think you know this is twofold kind of cool, yes. yeah. cool sculpture. Um, other thoughts? I move to support it. To go ahead. To take I it. Do we need to have a discussion where we're going to put it first? I or think could that come looking after? at a completion of maybe like late November. Probably or? late November. Okay. I, I'm going to support this too. I think we just need to, um, I don't know, just be mindful moving forward. Um, maybe you can kind of keep track, Laura, of how things are going as far as deciding on an appropriate location um, to minimize any, even though the sound is beautiful, there might be some nuisance. Um, so just. Yeah. I think we should. But I want, uh, we do want it in a spot where people can walk to it. And so right, I think we, we should make the sculpture, and we should evaluate its n noise presence, and then right. we can decide then where it's going to go. Its musical presence. Maybe yes. a more of a downtown <laughs> location does make sense because there's more 
ambient noise in the downtown anyway. Yeah, it's kind true. of would get not muffled, but it would blend in. Or maybe it would even right. get some echoes. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'd be in support of this one also. Uh, and then I would say that we should evaluate which site after we hear what it sounds like. I mean, if it's really, really big, we obviously wouldn't want to put it in one of the residential areas. Um, the, the one question I have, the quotes, is there anything religious about any of the quotes or anything like no, that? No, it's quotes? more geared towards science and music. Okay. Celestine? Um, just to offer that our noise ordinance says 80 decibels at the property line. So that would be essentially at really? the intersection where the mm -hmm. Where the piece would be located. Okay. Um, I think this is a fabulous piece, by the way. Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, it also, in Buddhism, Tanha, the wheel of suffering, so that's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but 80 decibels is essentially a truck going by, and you can't like hear someone talking okay. to you. That's about what 80, 80 decibels, decibels says. Yeah. So that's what our noise ordinance says. And there is ways to quantify that. that. We could we have a meter that we could hold next to it or whatever. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm not planning on implementing any devices in which, you know, someone would have to walk up with something that was not provided right, and right. hit it to right. create something that loud. Right. 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 And then that's on. And I like the idea yeah. of this performance art as well. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that's or, uh, great. That's a cool idea. Mm -hmm. So there's a motion on the table to approve. Is there was a second? Nope. Second? I'll, I'll, are you okay? All good. in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. So uh, be in touch with us, and oh, we're looking at late November construction completion. Yes. So then we can evaluate its sound and find you a good location for it. Uh, if for some reason it ends up being done sooner, we'll see if we can get our sample session in. Right. So, um, and when when that time comes, I mean, rather than hauling it up here, um, oh yeah, we could be able to coordinate, like maybe out at UWGB, right. visiting sure. the sculpture. Might be fine. Super. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I made a mistake. We should have uh, closed the floor. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. Motion motion close the floor. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Now motion, motion to evaluate that yes. motion to approve. A motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Very good. Thank you, friends. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, moving right along, discussion with possible action to review the artist applications for the Painted Pyramid I'm sorry, I, I need to know, does that have a name, your project? Collective Resonance. Thank you. That's appropriate. So, uh, the applications for the Painted Pyramid series to determine the final selected artist. <coughs> so, um, hopefully we all did our grading. So, this should be a matter of just telling the numbers. Um, I had some questions on some of them. Sure. And, and, and we don't know uh, uh, who is. We don't need the names. We don't need the names. No. Nope. So we were just base. We weren't grading on the names. We were grading That's on the fair. work. So. Um, also, just a heads up. Um, well, it's just that if it's like a high school doing it, I think I would look at it a little differently than if. Well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I guess. I guess if you want to know that. Good majority of the applications were provided by high school students. Okay, I, I kind of got that feeling. Um, but uh, I think you know, if we want to take that into account, I, I was that there is this piece. I don't think was really meant to to you know be an educational component. I guess, but um, so I guess the the names to me are irrelevant. We should uh, we should have made those decisions based on the the artwork. Absolutely. So, and, and speaking of the artwork, though, there's one, there's some here that are black and white, but I'm assuming they're not the final product, isn't? No, they're they're sketches. Yeah. So, they're so just sketches. In the description, so. they usually say, you know, if it'll have color or something. So, Laura, you have something else? Um, since these are going on our rotating art pads, we just approved our third piece, so you're actually only going to be picking three today. Okay. Three. We only have three. Three. So we've got to pick three out of here. Problem. That's a good problem. Okay. Yeah. So then, um, how, should, how should we do this, Laura? Like I have my. Top I received three. your scores. Mm -hmm. um, should we just tally them and then send them out? I didn't. Yeah, I don't know if you want to go. Okay. Are they? Are they? Uh, can I see them here? Or 
Yeah, yeah, I have them up here. It's going to be kind of in a okay. yeah. long so if you format, click, but we can run through You got it up here, Alex? Are you uh, logged in there? Yeah, I'm logged so in. So if you click on this item, uh, item number five. I've got, okay. Go back to the, uh, just say the agenda. Okay. Yep, there. Click on the green button. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, then the green button again, and then save. Sorry. Okay, I think scroll down to five. Right. Oh. Oh, right this there, yep, yeah, that's it. And then click on the Painted Pyramid Design Collection PDF. So then Thank scroll you. through those. Scroll down there too. So. Um, Laura, in a matter of like saving time, and since this would be pretty easily quantified, I, well, I don't know. Like, um, yeah, I guess if you did do the scoring ahead of time, um, if you lay out your top three highest scores, and then we can compare sure. those to everyone else's. So number three, number eight, and number four, fourteen. Yep, that's what you gave me. Yep. So this is number 14. This is one I like. That was one of my favorites as well. Okay. Um, number eight. This is number what? Seven is the next one. So this one? Yeah. So this one would uh, have color, mm -hmm. but they're portrait, portraitized uh, Greek goddesses. Um, thought that would be a nice contrast mm -hmm. to the abstract coloration of the first one. Yeah. And then number three, I think the other one was. That the dragon? No. No. I like that. It was this one. I thought it offered uh, a whole different perspective on the pyramid design. This is actually kind of using the pyramid design almost as a sculpture piece to continue this idea of a plane. So you're getting the same perspective on all sides. So those are the three that I like the best. Um, I thought the rest of the work, so there are some other really good ones in there. Um, but those are the ones that I'd like to see if we're doing top three. That one that you have. I also graded these, and um, I agree with 14. That was one of my top three as well. I also liked um, 10. Um, what was the reduced? Simplistic minimalism. Yeah. <laughs> I thought um, just the pixelated rainbow was an interesting idea. Yeah, that was on my top um, five. I really liked that. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with supporting GLBT people, but it just that was a that's what how I connected with it, and I think that's something we could do more than Green Bay. I like that one too. Um, Eleven. Um, actually, if we're just doing top three, um, I also liked fifteen. Yeah. Um, which one's eleven now? Fifteen and eleven are also on my top five. Ten, fourteen, fifteen for my top three. Yeah. Um, was it with the with the it's trees? 15. With the trees, with one of the ones with the trees. I thought that was nice. No one likes the ones with the dragon. The three-dimensional dragon. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, paper mache, though. Like I was saying, my concern was it was is it going to hold up for a year? I love the concept of it. Or until. I thought it took plastic. Paper mache. Read that. I'm just, I misread that. Yeah. Because I wondered how they were going to do plastic. The wings were going to be, I think, like a um, plastic or a... Oh, I read it too quick then. Yeah. Umbrella. I mean, it's ambitious. I like that. But uh, I didn't think it would... It would yeah, paper machine. I also yeah. like this one. They put some time into it. Uh, it's hard to, like, really put put some vision into this, but... Um, Could the wings be the umbrellas? Yep. Yeah. That's I'm just looking at the supply list. Yeah, so. that... that I, did, I thought that would probably last like a couple months, maybe. 
Right. So um, 11 is the undersea thing. Um, I wish we could see them all at once. So everyone turns now, out different. Now, well, we're going <laughs> to place these, and they're going to be there for how long? They'll be there for a year. Or so until that's kind of, well. Are we the committing to it then? Like a whole year? The funds are committed to it. Uh-huh. Okay. The funds that we're using to do this are in place of the rotating art program. Okay. Right, but could we not swap out? One for three months, put in another for three months, put in another for no, three No, because we, the funds that... If we had them painted over... But the funds are paying for one pyramid. Yeah. So but I mean, in theory, uh, you could, because we have... I just built two this past weekend, so we have three pyramids in total now. Uh -huh. I wanted to hold off because I wasn't sure about today's decision. Yeah. Um, so we have three pyramids constructed completely. You could, in theory, pick three, or you could pick six designs and have those three pyramids painted now and then paint them over with the other three designs Sorry. later. I know that was something that we talked about as far as having these be right. renewing, like painting over them and just reusing the base while it's still structurally sound. Um, if, if we didn't do that, if we, if it's sort of a more, what would we do with these pieces after? After the year? Yeah. That's, we could auction them off, we could sell each partition. Because um, I kind of hate the idea of going over somebody's. Right, or, you know, yeah, I, it's, but it's not a big deal to artists. I mean, they, we, there's probably three paintings on every canvas that I own. I mean, it's just something that happens. If, if they and want if people it, feel strongly enough about it, then they could raise funds to save it, Yeah. I guess. I mean, or we could sell them and make our money back, or I don't know. We, so if we sold them, they could we could have an auction thing, or you know, someone so wants to buy so These belong to us then? Yep. yep. Yes. They belong to us. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's how we got around the insurance part. Ah. <laughs> Okay. So the, we're, we're paying the artist to do this. So we, we bought materials and we're paying the artist out of the $500. Okay. So um, So my, my choice is rainbow, trees, and uh, Greek goddesses. Okay. So not, where's 14? Not this one? I like, I like this, uh, the one, this, this one right here. I like that. Yep. This is like one of my favorites. Um, I also like that one. I would one. recommend that you guys pick, you know, more than three because in all likelihood when you go back to the artist, they may or may not be able to conform to the time constraints. So you're gonna wanna have alternatives. Okay. So that way, if artist number one says, you know what, I've rethought it and I don't have time, you can go on to your. So we should pick five. If we have three, we should pick three that we want and then we should have two alternatives, I think. So right now, based off of what I've been hearing from you guys, there's three that have received multiple votes, and then I have, um, actually there's four that have received multiple votes, and then I have two that are. So six? Yeah. Cool. What are those numbers, Laura? Yeah, which, which um, ones are for sure? We so have four. number 10, uh, 14, 15, and eight. Sorry, that was a weird order to go. Okay, so. Uh, 10 and 14, I think those are for sure. This is 14, and the 10 is that one. So, which, uh, one, which one was 10 got? The rainbow. So, you're not crazy about that one? Well, I, I, I like both those, but I don't know if I want. The I prefer one or the other, you know, because I, I, like, uh, I like more representational. So, the Greek goddesses? The Greek goddesses. And yeah, that would be 10, right? Yeah. No, that's 8. eight. So yeah. Or the trees. Or the trees, yeah. So I would I'd rather the trees, the Greek goddesses, and one of these. Okay. And um, then maybe one could be an alternate. In I'd case some if, we're, if we're talking about these ones, my votes are this one, the Greek goddesses, and that one. And they're 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 both colorations, but I think they both work on this weird type of dimensional canvas. Right. Here. I'm good with both of these. These are my two top favorites. Yeah. So that's what so I would go with. I would argue. So the top three right now would be those. There yeah. you go. And then 
alternatively, you've got the trees and what were the other two that? Um, the ones that I list off, so I have three, eight, 10, 11, 14, 15. Okay, so these three, I'm sorry. This could be on the wall here. And then the trees. Three and eleven, <coughs> and the other two. Three, eleven, ten, uh, eight, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay. So trees, I think we will be. So this row will be the alternate. 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 So what else we got over there? Beth, here's three. This is another and one that I like. But and then uh, eleven. You, you like this one too? Um, I think you said eleven. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Sorry, I didn't print the color. I do. I'm just trying to find them. The like underwater scene, like the whale. Oh. <laughs> I, some, cool. I have to. It I is have to, easier. to be able to, because I knew we were going to pull them up on the screen, but. Yeah. yeah. And that's in, something in the future, wanna, could we get them individual? Yeah, instead that's of all in one. that I wanted to talk about during my report, too, as far as scores and stuff. Yeah, it'd be actually, easier if I could bounce them up instead of trying to. I think to this way is actually easier. I don't. Each one would be a different window then. Right, if it, if it was individually instead of all on one screen. Okay. I prefer this way. I prefer to be able to bounce them up individually. Okay. Because to find, if, if, I, if I want to look at two of them now, I got two individual ones. I could even have them side by side on the on the screen, or or I could have one right after the other instead of trying to scroll find a comfortable. Well, and Beth, thank you. You're right about the backup in case somebody yeah. pulls out. Okay. I think that's a are we gonna go with three backup These or two? These ones we're going. These ones are so in order. This one we go to next. This one we go to. This one. I think that's probably or switch these two. Well, uh, yeah, this one for sure, and then whatever we decide. I, I like both those. It's fine with me. I think this. Is yeah. Okay. So. Does anyone accepted? have any um, other choices that they want as like a potential backup? I know we didn't really discuss that. So uh, I think mean, you could come back in October. Yes. Because yeah. yeah. it turns out that so we don't many. Have okay. So we're going to, uh, I'd like to entertain a motion to accept application numbers 14, 8, and 10 for the pyramid, the painted pyramids. A motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, then we'll, we'll keep these guys as the alternatives. So should we make a motion to that? Can we do two motions and one? Okay. Sure. So then, uh, yeah, go ahead and make the motion. Motion to uh, which number, Donna? 15, 11, and 3. 15, 11, 3, uh, to be alternative. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good. Oh. I'll approve. I'll disapprove. No. Okay. <laughs> I always sometimes I forget to do that in case there's something in there. And when are these due? Um, for the artist? Well, now that question. we have them all built, I need to prime them yet uh, and then place them on the sites, but uh, I'm. This it's going right? to be, kind of, yep, it'll be coming this next month. Um, we establishing, well, that's why I, I guess I built these intending that they were going to be painted on site. Mm -hmm. Because me, I live in an apartment. I can't paint an eight foot tall right. pyramid in an apartment. And so, it would be awesome. I think we should document the heck out of this. Yep, and I'm actually in contact with John Channel 5. Okay. Um, we're going to set up kind of a plan as far as having, I would love to have one painting day where we can have everyone out on site doing these. Um, but I know people's schedules, it doesn't always work out that great, so we may need to do it kind of okay. uh, piecemeal together. But it will be happening um, sometime throughout October. I don't know if you guys want to set a date. I do. I want to set a completion date. Um, so I mean, it was to intended done. to be completed by the end of October. Yep, and I think we need to do that. I don't think, is that written down anywhere? Did the artists know that? I believe it's in the RFP. So the October 31st is the deadline for a completed pyramid. It's so. definitely not spelled out like that, but. But when um, you contact them, you can yep. say that it was, a decision was made today. Sure. Yep, completed October 31st. Okay. Because that gives you plenty of time since not, it's not even October 1st yet, and the 31st it falls on a Wednesday. So you have lots of weekends covered. You know. Fair enough. Okay. So, do we want to make a, a motion, or should we just have Laura uh, convey that to the artist? Yep. Okay. Fine. And I'll I'll keep you guys in the loop as <coughs> far as um, 
installation of the pieces and then we actually set up the painting or embellishment days if Great. you just want to come out on site. That's awesome. Yeah, we should really share it and publicize that. Because the one is already installed at Light Park. Yep. So the other Very two, cool. so I guess, yeah, you guys need to decide now where you want Casey's piece to go. Because wherever Casey's piece is, mm, a pyramid is not going to go there. So we can't wait for the sculpture to be done. Then we have to select a location for him. Laura. I mean, the pyramids are easy enough, I guess, to be moved. But ideally, you'd like to place it and have it be there. OK. What is your recommendation based on? Based on the choices? you've been out to every concrete pad. Mm -hmm. You know the vicinity, the neighborhood. I would say since. Um, Majority of the piece. Oh, this is tricky now. Um, two of the applicants that you've chosen are from West High School, so one of our pads is over by West. So I think that one should definitely be designated to one of the okay. applicants. Um, our other one. Are you going on the website? I, am. I think I updated the map on our website. Um, let me go there. So. Really quick. Here's all of our locations, one way out at East Shore by uh, the Wildlife Sanctuary. Then we have the Light Park, which is already installed. And then, uh, so we have Walnut Street um, in Oakland, Walnut, and, or that's, that's Shano and 12th, so right up the street from that. So those would make sense for... Well, actually, you know, I'm thinking that this walnut one might be good for uh, Casey's piece. The walnut in Oakland. I'm wondering if that might be a little too residential. You think so? Yeah. I think, I know that pyramid's already there, but the liked park um, location seems like a really good one, in my opinion. That's for, what I was thinking. For Casey's piece. That's what I was thinking off the, so from the beginning. I don't know how difficult it is to move that, but it's, not, it's, the, least, it's the least residential by far. We could definitely move it. And you have, have a camera view on it. And, and we have a camera view on it. Yeah. And it's yeah. close to a lot of traffic. <coughs> let's do it. There's a lot of traffic there. So let's allocate Casey's piece for the light park. We'll move the pyramid um, to Walnut one of the Oakland? existence. Yeah, I think so. I like that idea. So then we still have a few vacancies. Do we want to leave them open for potential sculptures? or? Well, I have, we have mine. There's yours, and I got confirmation from Rusty. Yes. Um, Rusty is in. I'm happy because she's getting in contact with his um, art person. Yeah. Okay. So we're working but on, then but he did confirm that he wants to Great. do it. Then um, sounds like we're <coughs> all set. And yeah. Sean Owen 12th would be by West, right? Mm hmm. The good pyramid place. Yeah. Okay, Kay. so I didn't catch up where everything is going now. So <laughs> Casey is going at Light. Light. Park. Okay. And then Rusty, I think, should be somewhere in the downtown area. So either at the Walnut in Oakland. I think he should go at Walnut in Oakland. That's my opinion. And then we would have a pyramid out on the Mason, out on the Fisk, not at Irwin. What's that sound? Say that again. Yep. Pyramids Mason. at Irwin, so a wildlife sanctuary. The uh, Mason. Isn't that where yours? Oh no, no, you're, you're right. I'm sorry, twelfth and Fisk. When you say twelfth, do you mean twelfth and Mason or twelfth and twelfth? Shot on twelfth. Okay. Shot on twelfth. The my piece is at Mason okay. and twelfth. That was not as easy to move. Do you have preference for where these three are placed on um, Shano, Fisk, and Irwin? Um, it, okay, so. Greek goddesses. I mean, is there any? Well, we wanted someone from West High there, right? Is that? Yep. So it'll be the 
Street Caddises, maybe? Second or West? third choice. I think that's maybe Second. more academic. So, I don't know. I just think it's cool. Girls empowering, you know I mean? I think mm -hmm. it's a cool. Oh, it's great. So everybody can see it, so people can see it. It's yeah. great. It's great. By, by a school? Yeah. yeah. So maybe that one would be by, uh, that would be at 12th and yeah. Shano. Okay. And then um, the rainbow one at Fisk or Wildlife Sanctuary. Does anybody have a preference? Trees. Put it at Fisk. Fisk. And then this one would go the Wildlife Sanctuary. All right. Great. Okay, moving right along to the chairman's report. So I have a few things. Um, so we are going to be in uh, <coughs> a vacancy for a member for the GBPAC. Tiffany is not with us today. Uh, she recently had a baby. So she's oh. going to have some time off, but and she's going to try to finish out the year. So um, she didn't want to bring the baby. She and, and she regrettably needed to uh, step down. She she wants to finish out the year. So, anyways, let's think about that for 2019. Uh, we need to have somebody in January. Um, we also need a liaison. So Stacy is still with us, but uh, we lost Lee. Mm -hmm. So someone who is in the music, musical arts, uh, uh, performance arts, or performance. Sure, like literary arts, I think, or you know, someone who represents an artistic establishment or something like that. If anybody has suggestions, uh, let Laura know, and then we can vet those through. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's all I got. Good, because I got a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, as far as scoring, so we had a lot of stuff to score today. Do you have a preference? for how, how we're going to be doing this. Because I know there's kind of a few methods. There's the Google form, which thanks to the people who did send it in. Um, but that also is not a, a completely foolproof method of scoring. Um, What's wrong with that one? Well, the Google one, like as you're, as you're, you're um, you can't really see the application while you're grading it. So like, you kind of have to open up that one and then <coughs> open up a different window of the application. So it would be nice if all the components were there and then the uh, grading system was right under it. But otherwise, I think that's fine. Okay. Otherwise, I think the Google format is fine. Did, did anybody else have that issue? Or you, because you're, you're grading on motif, you're grading on its ability to. So would it be helpful if I included yeah, but the I like image I of the piece before every prom? Well, or the image, the application, we just need to see that with the grading scale. Because otherwise the grading scale is uh, itemized as like motif, uh, public art, you know, um, location, budget. Like does something like this, is this more manageable? Like what we had for the pyramids, is this a system that you want to go or like use going forward compared to Google Forms? Because I don't have to spend the time to make Google Forms if people aren't going to be using them. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be fine. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So sum up all the things that you have in the Google Forms and just itemize it like that. Yep. That'd be fine. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about Better Block. I thought it went well. Mm -hmm. um, Matt worked really hard on it and Sam and everyone from on Broadway, but I think it was Randy's working at uh, Pop-Up City Hall. I thought it was a very successful first time event. Yeah, it was great. And Laura worked her tail off. She was freezing mm -hmm. on Friday night, yeah, working on that mural yeah. and that scaffolding. So yeah. thank you to you yeah. and to anyone who was involved. Um, several of us around the table were involved. So it was, it was a great first event that showcased public art, so. Yeah, we got, well actually this weekend we made four murals. Four murals, yeah. all in the Broadway so, corridor. Yeah. Very exciting. Um, which brings me to one of the murals that we had. I got an update from Bo. Yep. Um, is it done? Yep. Yeah. It is done. Yeah. All it's right. Done. Nice. It's very nice. Fruition, y'all. Look at um, this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And Fantastic. I got an update from um, Navarino Neighborhood. They are going forward with the big chair. I was wondering about uh, that. They're working with the Parks Department. They have to build a structural base to stay up to code for kids and stuff, I guess, now. So that was kind of an unforeseen addition to the project, but I suppose we want kids to be safe or whatever, so. <laughs> kids! It got, it's being delayed a little bit, but they're looking for hopefully in November. So we got a lot of stuff so hopefully coming up in November. Is November's going to be a big month for the GBPAC. We, we yeah. are, post, are we posting this stuff on Facebook and uh, like shouting out and saying we're awesome and stuff? Facebook is a bit in flux currently because we're still working on transferring over. Well, it's mostly just me. I haven't been able to have time to transfer over all of our current subscribers to the new page mm -hmm. uh, but we are we are going to be posting like this is the cool stuff that we're doing uh, yeah. that will be going on the page okay um logo update um we were going to be talking about the logo today during the meeting because you guys had held that over from the last right. month um but matt had some unforeseen family stuff that came up so he was really unable to get to it um, but he did get in contact with me uh, he listened that back through the meeting minutes and listened to your guys' suggestions, um, but he's preparing a presentation uh, to give during the next month's meeting. October, right? Um, I'm not entirely sure if he's going to be updating the logo. Um, and I myself, I feel strongly too, I enjoy the logo that he presented, but he'll be coming in and just speaking to you guys more and actually getting a chance to talk to you about it. So that'll be coming up in October. Uh, I am working with uh, public schools on getting transformer boxes. Maybe we'll get some wraps started. Uh, transformer boxes, like the electrical the boxes from WPS. So I got the I got the approval from WPS that we can have paintings or awesome. uh, like a vinyl wrap, like the what they do on Painting cars. Also, oh, either or. Yeah, um, as long crazy. as we don't cover up any of their important information right. that's on there. Um, so I got the okay from them that we can actually start going forward with that. I know that wasn't something that Did I was talking about. Did we discuss this before? No. Oh, this is okay, because I've been saying, well, I don't remember. Not at a meeting, but we have what? discussed it. Like anywhere and everywhere? Yep. And do I'll, I'll give him a list, and then he'll kind of go through and say if, if they're okay or not. Oh, uh, so they but actually but have the final say. Yep. Okay. But as far he made it sound, he's, he's the one who's responsible for them, so. Who's it? Henry. Oh, is he the same gentleman we met? Robert. Was? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible with names. Um, so yeah, we're going forward with that, kind of looking into it. Um, I might reach out to the WPS Foundation to see if they can <coughs> provide any funding to help along with the project. Right. At, right. at the moment, we're not providing any funding. This is just something that I'm pursuing and kind of looking into. Um, mm -hmm. So there's that. And also, gifts for you guys. Aww. I think there's something really cool on like page 30 something. Let me get my left side. I didn't get you anything. Um, 30 something. I don't know oh. for sure. <laughs> the, hey! A new look, a new way to look at art yeah. with Laura Schleid. That's so Fantastic. Nice. And we were on the news, so we're, we're making... We're making a splash, a baby Sweet. splash. That's on my report. This is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Congratulations. Thank you. That's all I had to report out, though. What page was that? 32. Oh, and then next month's meeting will be in this room at 8 o'clock on October 24th. You can wear spooky costumes if you want to. Always. This is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this is what I do. This is embarrassing. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta be, you gotta be patient. I just want your autograph. <laughs> is there a second to adjourn? Yeah, thank you. Second to adjourn. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Very good. I'm serious. I want your autograph. Thanks, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Good stuff.